600 agents who were involved in this raid, what ICE agents are calling the largest single state employment action in history. They hit six different cities around Jackson, Mississippi, mainly targeting chicken processing plants. They surrounded the perimeter of those plants and checked IDs and documents. If people were not able to furnish proof of residency, uh, then they were taken by bus, zip tied, taken to an airport hangar where they were processed. Some were arrested, some will be deported immediately, others will be released, and some of those released will be wearing ankle bracelets. I'm told those who were detained initially and released for humanitarian reasons are being shipped back to the point from where they were detained. So whether it be Camp or Bay Springs or Morton, if they are being released by HSI for humanitarian reasons, they will be back put in the back in the same situation they were found this morning. Now this raid happened for many during the first week of school, so at least temporarily there have been a number of children separated from their parents. We've really seen members of the community try to step up to do what they can. Some communities really scrambling. One gym owner opening up his gym as a temporary shelter for some of the children. Others helping with friends or relatives. School bus drivers even told not to drop children off at homes unless they have visual evidence that a parent is in that home. Dana